the worst has happened. I am going to dye my hair blonde again. It might fall out. I think I'm a little bit crazy. Um, but I booked an appointment to have my hair cut because much as I love, as it's getting longer, it is in really bad condition and it's just kind of like all fluffy at the ends. And I thought, I'm going to bleach my hair. I'm going to have it blonde again when it goes short. Do I do it before or after? Probably after would have been a better idea, but because I'm so impatient, I'm going to do it before. And then when I go to the hairdressers and she cuts my hair, um, I will have finished the process. Um, hopefully, hopefully this is going to work. They didn't have what I wanted, so I just got this stuff anyway, because again, the impatience. Um, I wanted to get two boxes of this. Um, one mistake that I always make as my hair's grown is that I only get one box, and halfway through the application I go like, oh no, I'm going to run out of this. Uh, and so I think that's part of the reason that it doesn't go as blonde as I want when I do bleach it. Um, so I got this, I wanted to get two boxes, but because they were on offer, there was only one box of blonde left. So I also got the L'Oreal Perfect Blonde. I don't think this is going to blonde, this is going to bleach it as as much, lift as much colour out as the other one. So I'm going to put this on the underneath bits, and this on the top bits. So hopefully at least the top layer will be blonder than the bottom layer, worst case scenario. However, the bottom, the actual ends are actually darker than the rest, so probably a better idea to do it the other way around, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, you know how dark my hair is right now, so it's going to be a nice little test for you all uh, to see how bad this is. If it gets really, really terrible, then it'll just be like a midnight dash to Asda to go and get like a light brown hair colour. Worst case scenario. What I've got for after that is this. I've used this before and I didn't think it did anything, however, they didn't have any kind of toner, not even like a shader or toner or anything. Um, I will definitely, if I can stand it, um, I will definitely pop to Superdrug and get that toner that I really liked, it was like 99p. I know loads of people ask a question, but I can't describe it, you'll have to wait until um, I go out and buy it or something because I can't describe what it looks like. I've tried to and people don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is Colour Renew Tone Correcting Conditioner. You get the shampoo, but I decided to get the conditioner because once I've done these, I'm going to leave this on for like two hours or something crazy. I'm just going to put the entire tube on my hair, lather it all in and hope, hope, hope that it does something like what the other stuff does. Um, so that's my plan, and I will update as I go along. Hi again! Okay, so luckily I changed my mind after filming. I decided that I was going to do one bleach, leave it, and then do another one. And I'm really glad I did now because it's full on ginger. So obviously I've like half lifted it. My roots are like, woo, like yellow white. Um, and I'm going to use the XXL one now. And hopefully that will lift it all to a blonde kind of colour. Because right now, it's not really, it's much lighter than it looks like on camera. But it is still full on ginger. And it's really dry. So after I've put on the XXL, I'm going to cover it in that conditioner. And then I will come back again. So this is the final colour. It's kind of a strawberry blonde. It doesn't really pick up on camera very well. Um, you can check the link below for pictures in my blog that are a lot better. Um... And it kind of is in the ginger family, but I like it. Never in a million years thought that I would like any kind of proper ginger hair on me, but I really like it. Really like it. I ended up using a couple more dyes, um, which will be outlined in my blog, um, because it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, so check that out. But yes, this is now my hair colour for as long as I decide to leave it. Plus, I don't know, I like my fringe this colour. I think it looks nicer than when it was dark. I think it looks kind of glossier, strangely. Even if... I don't know. I don't know whether or not this is going to be the base for me going full on blonde, or if I go a touch darker than this. But I'll stay like this. I quite like it. I just don't know. I really quite like this. A little bit different. Anyway, um, a little bit of a random video. Uh, filmed on my iPhone again, I'm sorry, it's really strange to go back to the bad quality again, um, but my camera was dead. But I have been taking pictures, because um, it can stand to have pictures taken, just not video. I have been taking pictures along the way, they'll be on my blog, and so go check those out. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye! Hi guys! Uh, you'll have to excuse my appearance, I just walked home and it's very windy and horrible. Yes. Um, anyway, so the count so far is three hair dyes. Um, I am now going to try and put on possibly two more bleachers. I know. I know. I know how many comments I'm going to get like, you are mental, you are ruining your hair, blah, 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 blah. I'm having it cut tomorrow, so the ends are all going to get chopped off. Um, so whatever. I can do what I want to my hair. 
I have, what well, I went to Superdrug, right? I walked to town. This, I looked crazy, seriously. I look crazy now because of the day that I've had. I walked to town and it took me like 40 minutes and it was really cold. Um, but I was like on the hard shoulder of this really, really busy road. Um, anyway, I walked to town and I hoped that I was going to find in Superdrug the miracle little toner thing. And it was literally the only one that was sold out. I should have called in advance so you know, as I was walking. Um, anyway, what I found instead was this that I've never seen before. It's called Smart Blonde. Um, and it says, High Lift Hair Lightener Platinum Blonde Conditioning Toner. Um, I also got another XXL Live. Now, I don't know whether or not I'm going to put this one on, see how much it lifts it, and then put this one on, and hopefully it'll tone it. Or whether I think that this is going to do it all together. I don't know. I feel like if I put this one on first, then this one might make it a little bit brassy. So I don't really know. But I've also got these shaders and toners as well, like Ashy Blonde, so hopefully that'll help. Um, and that is what I'm going to do now. Uh, I know this video is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to end after the last one, but my hair is a lot more yellowy toned uh, in natural daylight this morning than it was last night, and so I have to do something about it because it's driving me crazy. Um, and I'll just be mocked for being ginger by my family. And so I have to do something about it. So, this is going to change, and hopefully it's going to get blonder, and we'll see what happens. Hi, guys. Um, right, okay, something terrible happened. Uh, basically, I really, really overprocessed my hair and it was like chewing gum. Um, I actually thought it might fall out. I'm definitely going to have it a big cut tomorrow when I go to the hairdressers. Um, but I think I might have fixed it now. I can't even tell you. It is ridiculous. I'm ashamed of what I've actually done to my hair. You will be absolutely appalled, but I'm going to show you. These are the products I've used on my hair in the last maybe four or five days. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. I feel like this time I might have learned my lesson, um, but I am going to put this video up tonight and um, I'm leave this is literally a whole tub of Lee Stafford hair repair stuff um, in my hair. I'm going to put cling film on it, I'm going to put hot water on it, hopefully the heat will do something and um, in the morning I'm going to do it all and I will do a new video kind of unveiling what my hair looks like uh, before I go to the hairdressers and I might tag on my hair cut on the end of that. So, stay tuned to see what actually my hair has turned out like because it might fall out. 